Hello Germany and Europe. My name is Mr. Panos. And this is a message from the Hellenic people around the world. Fuck you, Malaka! Genius. Genius, genius, genius. What's happening to the Greek economy? Why is it in shambles? I'll tell you why. <laughs> because we've been playing a trick on you. We're lazy? No, we're resting. Sure, we work for the Turks for 400 years. We're on vacation. The so-called crisis in Greece is the happiest day of my life when I heard that Germany was going to send another bailout. Bailout. Thank you for your money, Germany. We have been waiting a long time for war reparations from World War II. The Chancellor of Germany is Angela Merkel. She's a woman. So are you going to give me a loan? This is the first time a woman is giving man some money. What happens? The Chancellor, she comes home from work and her husband makes a schnitzel sandwich in his apron? Everyone had the motivation to join the European Union in the first place. The reason Greece joined the European Union is because we saw to the future. We know the German mind. You can't change the German. How come a mouse goes like this? Looking for cheese. Because he's a mouse. How come a German is trying to take over the world? Because he's a German. Nobody says how come Germany is so interested in the European Union to expand. So we knew eventually he was going to come to try to take the world over again. We built the trap. The Trojan horse is the mainland. We say, come and bring your money here. Never trust a Greek who's broke. He has money in the basement, hidden in the mattresses, all drachmas. There's two economies in Greece. One with the euro for the German tourists, and one that Greek people use with each other, drachmas. Thank you, Germany. You fell right into the plot. We use the euro to bet you, the genius, genius Greek people. Greece has a problem? No, you gave Greece the money. You have a problem. So we pretend to use the euro. When the Germans come for vacation, we say, hello, Hans. Hello, Mr. Schnitzel face. Come sit down here at the table. Look the nice volcano in Santorini. Can I get you a drink? Come bring your son. Oh, look at the pale monkey. He's running on the beach with his little penis flapping around. Sure, everyone's naked. This is a family values you have. The mother's titties is flopped out like a sheep's titties. The boy can run around with his freckled penis. Everyone's walking around naked in Greece. So the son is looking the mother's tits. Hello, ma'am. Hello, sir. We both speak English here. Thank you for coming to uh, the Greek island of Crete for your vacation, uh, Mr. Hansen Schnitzel. Uh, what would you like to eat? A pasticcio? Sir, one moment. Hello, Dimitri. Bring uh, the pasticcio, the German one. Let me go get it for you, Mr. Hunter Schmitzel. <coughs> this is a plot that the Greeks have had for 60 years to fight the Germans and the Chinese allies. What's really happening here? What's really happening when the German people say we're going to give you a loan? What's really happening? This is the same thing that happened in World War II. What do you mean, Pano? The German people came to Greece. Uh, why they were trying to conquer the world. You remember this? You have a short memory. Who doesn't have a short memory? Hey, Greek people, we remember with the Chinese people, they used to call themselves Japanese, and the German people tried to take over the world. And they came to Greece to try to get a strategic position on the Greek people. And what happened? We fight and save the world in the Battle of Crete. How we did this? We fight them. They delay to go to Russia, and then they freeze in the snow, like morons. Did you remember Schnitzel face? And this is why Winston Churchill says that the Greeks don't fight like heroes. Heroes fight like Greeks, because we save the world from the German Nazi snow monkey Schnitzel face. This is the second attempt for the German people to come back and try to destroy the Greek culture. Yeah, well, we're going to fight with this this time, baby. The superior Greek brain that's fed with feta cheese and olive oil. It's not going to happen, baby. Not on my watch. So what do we do? We plan reverse psychology. We use reverse psychology with the genius Greek brain. And we say, okay, 
We want to be part of the European Union. This is the greatest invention of unity. Sure, German people, we're going to be a part of this union. Genius. Everybody saying Greece is going to crumple the European Union. The European Union is in threat. No, we're going to save Europe from the German Empire trying to rise again. Genius, genius. How are we going to do that? Bankrupt them. <laughs> Hello, Blondie. Thank you for your payment for civilization. Rest of the world, from Greece, you're welcome.